The following thing that I would like to uh, look, look at people is land use zones. Now, land use zones is the most important thing when it comes to urban geography people. Very, very, very important. If you study your land use zones, I can promise you, you will be, uh, will be, be able to answer quite a few questions regarding urban settlement in any question paper. Because it's so important. Now, let's have a look at the different land, uh, land use zones. Now, before we have a look at that, you must know the following. You must know what is it, you must know where is it, and you must know why is it there. Just remember your three, three W's, very important. What is it, where is it, and why is it? If you can answer those, 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 those three questions, then it's very important. Later on, you can also uh, add another question. What does it look like? So if you can answer these questions, when you study these people, please don't go sit with your notes and study and study and study all the time. Ask yourself those questions. What is it? Where is it? Why is it there? What does it look like? And I promise you, you will be able to, 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 to answer most of the questions in the exams. Let's have a look at the different land use zones. The first one, people, the CBD. What is it? The CBD, right? Very important. Where is it? Is it at, uh, at the most accessible part of the city? Okay, all right. Now, have a look at this. What does it look like? The highest building, the higher order functions, the lower order functions that we find there. So very important. If you know this, you can, you can, you, you know quite a lot of things regarding the CBD. Then the industries, people. What is it? Industries. Where do we get them? Light industries close to the CBD. Every industry is far from there. What do they look like? You must know about the pollution and all these type of things. Retail. The fourth type of, 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 of retail that has decentralized, the isolated stores, ribbon development, outlying business center, shopping centers. People see that you know these names, see that you know where you find each of them, see that you know what every one uh, of these things look like. Residential areas. The high income, area, uh, high come in, uh, income areas, where do, we, where, where do we get them? Against a hill, against a, uh, um, a mountain, your low income, where do we find them? C uh, uh, close to the factories because they work. And then people, informal uh, 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 settlements. See that you know what the informal settlements uh, 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 look like. See that you know the characters, uh, characteristics of uh, your informal settlement. What's, what's, what's happening? in your uh, uh, informal settlements. And please, people, um, squatter camps, it's, uh, in the exams uh, last year or previous year somewhere, they asked uh, a few questions regarding informal settlements. And the reason people didn't know what's an informal form, form settlement, they didn't know that it's a, it's a squatter camp uh, uh, that they that were actually uh, talking about. So people see that you know all this stuff. Then the zone of, 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 of decay. Uh, this is my favorite zone. It's exciting. Everything happens there. If, if you ever look at your zone of, of, of decay, what's very important? People, it's on the edge of, it's of the edge of the CBD. Old buildings, functions are mixed, and urban renewal that you find there. The rural urban fringe, where do you find that? Between urban and rural. What do you get there? You get your golf, your power station, cemeteries, airports that we, that we find there. So let's have a, have a look at our CBD people. If you look at your CBD, the most important thing is that you must know is the most accessible. Have a look at that. I've, pulled, uh, I've, I've drawn in all the, the, the main roads there. So it's the most accessible part of your, of your city. Very important. What must you remember? It's accessible, the high buildings, and the functions. CBD, you must also remember, accessible, high buildings, high density, the functions that we get, and of course, the problems, per people, urban problems. We won't have uh, uh, enough time to, to, to cover urban, urban problems. I'll just mention them as we go on. Uh, uh, traffic jams, you must know, why do we get tra tra traffic jams? And again, how can they be, be managed? See that you know uh, all that type of stuff. Then the industries, we've got two types of industries, heavy and light industries. This is the industries here. If you have a look at your, uh, the, the key here, this will be the industries. Now, What's very important of, 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 of this is that your, your, your every industry is far from the, there's the CBD, far from, from, from the CBC. See the elite industries closer to the CBD. Very important that you, that you should know that. Right? So you must rem remember your heavy, light industries, and the factors. So just let's have a look at the, at, at the, at the factors that we've got here. Here we've got our industry here. Now, what, why, why did they choose this 
as, 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 as a location as, uh, for, 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 your, for your industries. Why do we find them there? Let's have a look why. And this is also a very popular exam question. The contours, see, very few contours here. They are far apart. So you've got a, a, a level piece of land, flat ground there. There we've got an airport. Look, look, at, look at the transport that we've got. We've got the airport there. We've got a railway there. We've got a river there. Right? So look at them all here close to the industries. It's very important. So we know why, the, why, why, why we find the river there. Look at that. The main roads. Just look at this beautiful color slide. You can immediately see, just by looking at the, 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 the transport routes, we can see that this is a very, very good location for, for, for your industry. But that's not all. What have you also got? We've got a power station. And look at that. Labor we forget from the residential areas that we've also, that we've also got there. And here, we've got the market, the CBD, that would be the market of uh, 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 the industries. So people, you must know why industries are found at a certain place. You must be able to uh, give reasons for that. And remember people, this could as well as be a topographical map. We will look for exactly the same things, exactly the same, uh, the same factors that you must be able to look for on a topographical map that's found here on our diagram. Now, our zone of decay, people, is just on the edge, as we've seen, on, of, of, the, of the CBD. Yet, A, this black part here, we've got the CBD. Now, what I've done is I've just drawn a dotted circle around here, and usually in this area, we get the zone of decay. Remember, people, the zone of decay is always just outside the CBD, right? And very important, mixed functions. Now, if you look at this, if you look at all the other, the other uh, 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 land use zones, you'll only find factories somewhere. You'll only find uh, uh, shops on a different place. You'll, you, you, you'll only find one specific function. But when you ever look at your, your zone of decay, suddenly you've got a different story. Because here we've got mixed functions. Now, if you ever look at this, and if, you, if you've drawn just a, about a 5 millimeter circle around the CBD, and you see what we find there, then you see here we've got wholesale warehouses. Here we've got, uh, 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 we've got here industries in the, the, the uh, uh, um, zone of decay. Uh, if, you, if, if you look at all, all, all these things, we've even got a, a urban renewal. Oh, that's fine. Oh, urban renewal. Now, why have we got urban new, uh, uh, renewal? Because of the old buildings. Old buildings is very, that's why it's called uh, uh, the zone of decay. Old buildings. Now, what do they do? Uh, the, the urban renewal. We, we, I'll just get back to, to that again uh, uh, in the next slide. Then the most expensive land is found here. Why the most expensive land? Because if the CBD should expand, it's going to expand into the zone of decay. So, so you'll get your most expensive land you'll get there. Now, this is your urban blight that you've got here. Now, what is urban blight? If you look at that, the land is valuable, but the buildings, uh, they are worth very, very, very little. Completely the buildings uh, are decayed. Have a look at that. That is, that, that, that is uh, also part of your, of your zone of, of decay. I've, I've, I've talked about renewal. Now, um, the management, uh, how, can you, how, how can you manage urban blight? And remember, urban blight is also an urban, uh, urban problem that, we, that, we, that I told you I would mention as I go on, by means of renovation, by means of renewal, and to reduce the housing density. This is the way in which the problems uh, um, can, 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 can be solved or managed uh, in your zone of, of, of decay. Now, here we've got the, the, the urban uh, rural fringe. Now, the urban rural fringe people, uh, very important, you must know where do you find the urban rural fringe. Now, if you just look at the word urban rural fringe, then you will see that this is an area between the urban and the rural parts. In other words, you've got your urban parts and slowly but surely it's moving on to eventually become an urban only area. So this is what we've got our urban uh, uh, rural fringe. Now I've, 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 I've got a few things here of the, of the uh, urban rural fringe, things found in the urban rural fringe here. The first thing, airports. Right? This, is, this is a slide of, 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 of Bloemfontein and, and I've purposely put in a topographical map because this is one of the most important questions they ask. So, so, so look at the relationship between your urban geography and your topographical map as well. Right, so you've got the, uh, the airport that you've got, uh, got there. Um, look at the race course, a race course that we've got there also in the urban rural fringe. Recreation, 
most of your recreation activities you find in the, in the uh, urban rural fringe. We've got sewage dams in the urban rural fringe. People just look at how you can see the different activities in the urban rural fringe. Golf courses are also found in the, in the uh, 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 rural fringe. And here we've got a, a, a shunting yard for the trains in Bloemfontein in the, in, the, in the urban rural fringe as well. So people, if you looked at our uh, 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 show, slideshow here regarding urban uh, uh, geography, I would, I would just like to uh, remind you again. Just have a look at how we have presented it to you here. There's no ways that you will be able to answer questions just by studying the stuff. You must understand it. You must know how they fit in together like a jigsaw puzzle. And that is why I would just like to repeat this again. When you study your urban geography, when you study especially your land use zones, don't go and just study words and sentences all the time. That's not the way in which it's going to be examined. When you study, ask yourself, what is that? Where is it? Why is it there? What does it look like? Let me just uh, uh, give you an example. Let us look at the, the land use zone of, of industries. Industries. What is it? It's an industry. Where is it? Far away from the CBD. Why is it far away from, from the CBD? Because of pollution. Because it could, could be closer uh, to a railway line. What does it look like? You should know what a factory looks like. And then you will also know. The, the pollution that also uh, uh, comes from, from, from your, your, your factories. Well, people, that's it for, 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 for our presentation uh, this afternoon. Thank you for, for paying uh, attention. And please don't forget to study for your June exams, which um, we'd be, uh, probably be starting with the with with next uh, week or so. Please prepare yourselves thoroughly for your, for your ge geography. Good luck for your exams. And always remember, geography rules. Thank you.